Well, breaking point. I think it's time we get back into it and finish it. So we have chapter two ahead of us and we're going to have a look at that here today. My God, it's been a while, hasn't it? I knew at some point I'd come back. It's been longer than I thought. But you know what? The funny thing is, you guys who are watching have probably already played through it or watched it. I actually don't know what happens. So to me, it's still exciting because I haven't actually had it spoiled yet. So I'm very excited. We've left, you know, episode one behind us. I'll leave the previous episodes linked up in the top right and I'll leave a playlist down below. But yeah, we're going to jump into chapter two. Uh, we're going to see what happens. There's been multiple patches, so this should be smoothed out. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping for this to be a bit, you know, chill vibe and not really have to sweat too hard and just enjoy it for what it is. So leave a like if you want to enjoy. Subscribe for more. And let's finish Breaking Point. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be, but let's have some fun with it. And uh, let's see what happens. Casper. What the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper. Ackerman! Mum, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. I didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! Now that was a pretty spicy encounter, let's say, between all three characters. Tensions continue at Williams on the news and also Racing Point set to become Aston Martin. Right, um, I want to zoom out. I want to go to, we've got social, we've got some posts here from uh, Jack Nichols. Uh, we've got a phone call here from mum. Let's uh, see what she has to say. If I press the right button. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well. Maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do. Well, that's that done anyway. Phone call out of the way. Just having a quick browse. Shout out Jess, shout out Matt as well. But um, yeah, oh look at that big Arv. Good to see you, mate. Um, right, email. Got some emails here by the looks of it. Uh, Brian Doyle and Saskia Mills. Uh, just a couple of things I thought I'd fire over. The restaurant's confirmed. Um, it's your mum's birthday next week. Okay, interesting. Colin Perry keeps on telling me to the interview for Trackside. Okay, fair enough. Um, and Brian Doyle, just let you know, Pressure has been put back by 20 minutes. You've got yourself a little extra time. Uh, it's got the team feel concerned. I don't think Simon is too impressed. Simon? Simon? 
Grim Williams, Simon. Oh, it must be Simon Roberts. He's not there anymore, so go for the show. I'm not going to spend with this. You know, like, things move so fast. Um, I've already said this, Booth. Uh, you've got to start working together. There's a lot at stake here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's advance and let's see uh, what's next. It's a great day for racing here at Le Castellet, and the drivers are making their final preparations on the grid. Let's hope for a thrilling contest then here at the French Grand Prix. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard. And a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour. And they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Strait at around 205 miles per hour. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Williams underperforming somewhat. The two Williams drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for, and a lot of the season is left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler and Albon, Stroll, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen and Aidan Jackson. Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Well, here we are then, the French Grand Prix, P18 on the grid. And to be fair, I don't know if we're doing the whole race. I mean, I kind of hope not because I just want to kind of enjoy this, to be honest with you. But if it is, it's going to be a 50% France. By the looks of it. Either way, uh, strategy, um, soft, medium, looking at the weather forecast. Looks like it's going to be a five lap race, if anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll just drop the fuel a little bit and send it on a default setup. I don't think it really matters too much what we use. I think they are quite easy to beat. So, let's get into it and uh, let's try and turn this one around. Right, here we go then. Beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. That's the target, the objective. Five lights and run away. Good start, off the line we go, down to turn number one, oh that's all very tight through here, got to be careful, we're going to carry some speed around the outside and get the inside through turn two, let's see if we can try and get Ackerman here, our teammate, some fireworks for sure, Ackerman weaving all over the place as we try to look for a move, no way past just yet as we have to stay patient. Oh, this car feels so understeery. My God, the 2020 Williams is off the pace. Right, let's see then. I'm going to try and go for this move using all the overtake. Looks like Ackerman is matching us though. We're going to force him out of the tip stream. Around the outside we go. And it's a lovely move. Past our teammate. 13 laps ahead of us, so... I think we're doing the whole 25% here. Let's go after Ocon. He's going to be the first of the drivers we have to pass. But before that, we have a certain Sebastian Vettel still driving for Ferrari here. So let's try and have a look at him, maybe. Oh, good exit through there. Yeah, we're going to get the run here. Up the inside, easy does it. With the rear locking through there. All right, that's Seb done. Now we've got to get Ocon. Very good first lap. Can I get the turn in I need to go for this move? Yes, I can. Oh, God, that's a... Whoa! Rear's locked there massively. Never had that before, but we've got our con anyway. So uh, up into the top 10, into the points. Let's try and have a look at Pierre Gasly here. Good exit in the slipstream. Slowly edging towards the Alpha Tauri. Around the outside, that's another move we get done through there. Then we've got Ricardo, Leclerc, and then both of the McLarens who we have to pass as well. So 
Let's see, I'm going to use the ERS. I might actually be able to have a look at Ricardo here. Flat out through Senior. I'm going to take a, a shallow line. Oh, that gap's going to close. We're going to have to get out of that. Should have gone for the same move as we did on Sebastian Vettel last lap. Would have been far more effective. Good exit out of there, though. We're going to get the ERS on, and we're going to get the inside line on Ricardo into the final couple of corners. We'll also have a look at the inside of Leclerc as well. This time keeping the car under control. We did lock the rears, but that's fine. McLaren's next up. Signs are going to be the first one. Approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Let's see if we can have a look. Oh, good exit there. Lovely stuff. That's going to give us the move on signs, surely. And then only Lando Norris remains. We'll get this one done on the back straight. There we go. Lovely. Just get the exit. And now wait for the DRS. And let's get Lando then. And then hopefully Kvyat as well. Around the outside. One more time. Lovely. Right. Kvyat as well. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. Stick with the plan. Side by side with Kvyat. Into Senior. We're out of the RS to be fair. Kvyat stays ahead. I'm going to go up the inside this time. Lovely. Just like that up the P4. And fastest lap. Look at that. The Williams absolutely flying. And another fastest lap by the looks of it. Maybe even to the 32s. Yes, it is. Box, box. We're coming in this lap. Well, we'll try and undercut the front three then. The two Mercs and Verstappen. And uh, see if we can make something happen. Right, let's see which one of these are going to pit. I'm assuming Max and one of the Mercs. Oh, no, none of them. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we're going to box. Lovely pit entry that was. We're right on the limit. Going to get a bit more front wing put on the car so that I can turn a bit more. And uh, we should be able to pull off, hopefully, a successful undercut here. Pretty confident. And then we should hopefully win the race. Pretty straightforward, to be fair. We are in the highest difficulty already. Um, it's on hard, so we can't go any harder than that. It's just, you know, made for you to win. Go, go, go. 2.9. Decent stop. Right, we're going to rejoin in last, but we'll hopefully have a decent outlap. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Hey, let's do this. Right, this is it. The leaders are in. We're also catching up to Grosjean here. Getting held quite badly by the Haas. Luckily, we managed to get by easily. Loads more pace, loads more grip. A little bit overcast. One of the Mercs is staying out. I'm assuming Bottas probably. Let's see then. We need to nail this part of the track. Oh, I'll say that. That's not part of the plan. Casper is coming in for his stop. Let's see. We're going to be racing on pit exit. It's going to be close. There's Verstappen. And here is Hamilton. Just behind Lewis. Didn't quite get him, but we got Max. Hamilton slow out of turn two. Being held up by Giovinazzi. Oh, I don't really want to go for that. We're going to just back off here and uh, let these two do battle around the outside and now we'll get the DRS on Hamilton and then this is also an undercut on Bottas who stayed out let's go let's go let's go let the DRS do the work closing in on Lewis not always Lewis is the inside open and we're through job done right we're going to catch Stroll here as well, but that should be the net race lead. Now Stroll should pit and give us DRS in the process. Bottas is in there right now. Let's confirm that we do indeed take the race lead. We're going to get DRS in the pit straight as well for good measure. And yeah, we should be comfortably out in the lead here. There's Bottas getting up to speed, but we're ahead. I think Bottas has actually jumped Lewis, so fair play. A P1. Lovely stuff. Now we can just drive away and win this race. And we're going to set an improved fastest lap. Slightly quicker. 32.4. That should do it for the fastest lap. We're out of battery now, so let's just bring this one home. Hmm. 
Do I get star points for that? Hamilton coming through though. We'll just... Yeah, there we go. Just quickly get him back around the outside. Lovely stuff. Anyway. Let's bring this one home. Well, that's that then. Job done. Even after that spin. Nice little recovery. And we're going to see what is next in breaking point as we win the French Grand Prix with a fastest lap as well. Sweet. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Well done, William. Certainly showing what they're made of out there today. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Williams. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. So here they come now with Williams leading the way to the podium. A hard-fought victory for the team today and what I'm sure they'll savour. It's Williams, today's winners. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Aidan, congratulations. You got on the podium. That's a fantastic result for both you and the team. How are you feeling? We'll go for... I'll keep it humble. Team effort. Yeah, it's a team effort. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today, and I think everyone deserves it. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? I think we'll go for the results of those shows I can handle an F1 car just as well as an S2 one, no matter what people say. That's good to, you know, keep the haters quiet. I reckon so. I'd say the result today shows I can handle an F1 car just as well as an F2 one, no matter what people say. I think the team would agree with me. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked Harden so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? We'll go for no comment, keep it safe. I can't really comment on that. I'm sure it'll be fine, but we'll just have to see what happens. Thank you for your time. Now back in the office, um, first of all, it's now been announced that Vettel is now uh, leaving Ferrari, which is pretty, um, of course, big news back, back in the day last year, or 2020 actually. Damn, wow, two years already. <sighs> anyway, yeah, that was uh, massive news, you know, back then. Um, elsewhere though, uh, you can see it says Jackson finding form in France, and that's good to see. Um, on the article, just having a quick kind of speed read. Um, can't see much there in terms of drama or anything special. So, uh, socials, uh, people going to drop me a bit of praise. Shout out Will Buxton. Got another phone call, this one from uh, Brian. Let's see what Brian's got to say. Brian. Aiden, just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, OK. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Well, that was good to know. Seems like, ironically, taking Devin Butler's advice has actually helped us out. So, uh, big win in France. Got another phone call though. This is uh, Mum. Let's see what Mum's got to say. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey. It's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favourite track. I know. You're Aww. still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? 
Of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there. And I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. Anyway, phone call's hopefully finished. Um, shout out to Maluk and uh, there's Devin Butler's Twitter account. Anyway, email. Uh, just a quick one. So, Jeff Nelson. Um, Got to say, uh, seeing you at Pony is just fantastic and the points are pretty welcome too, rather than with such confidence at the moment. And we have to do the voice in the car. So, Jeff's surname's Nelson. The more you know. Okay, uh, Brian Doyle. Talk to the press. Just got to be into Claire. I want to say thanks. I know everything's a bit tricky between you and Casper, but that was smart to have not to comment when asked about things again between you. There we go. So uh, that's good to see. And then I forgot to mention, um, I gave a track center a couple of weeks ago. I had a great time doing it. Have you seen it? Colin, the guy that does it, mentioned me trying to get in touch with you for a chat. You might want to have already a PA as he's not heard much back. Okay, fair enough. Um, anyway, let's skip ahead and let's see what's next. <laughs> 